for rotational kinematics, instead of position, we have angular position theta, and the standard unit for theta is radians. Delta theta is the angular displacement, omega is the angular velocity or angular speed, and alpha is the angular acceleration. Just like uh, kinematics for translational motion, the average angular velocity is delta theta over delta t, and the average angular acceleration is delta omega over delta t. And the, the instantaneous values are also average. They're just average taken over a very short amount of time. And if we have a graph problem, this uh, means the angular velocity is the slope of the angular position versus time graph. The angular acceleration is the slope of the angular velocity versus time graph. And if we have an angular velocity versus time graph, the area will give us the angular displacement. Now let's see if you can write the kinematics equations for constant angular acceleration motion. Here they are. Remember that the average angular velocity is the average of the initial and final angular velocities only if it's a constant angular acceleration motion. If an object is either rolling without slipping or rotating about a fixed axis, then the translational motion and the rotational motion are related. Distance traveled is r times delta theta because these three, they form a fan shape like this and uh, the length of the arc is the distance traveled. So the length of the arc is r times the angle if the angle is in radians. And the speed is r times omega, and the acceleration is r times alpha. But this acceleration is uh, which kind of acceleration? It is the tangential acceleration. The centripetal acceleration or the radial acceleration is still the same v squared over r, but of course now, since v is also r omega, so this is also r times omega squared. So if a problem gives us uh, omega instead of v, then this is convenient for us to use to find the centripetal acceleration. Here we have two people standing on a merry-go-round, a stick swinging down about a fixed axis, two rotating disks connected by a belt that does not slip, and two sets of meshing gears. For each scenario, please see if A and B have the same linear speed or the same angular speed. For these two, they rotate together, so they have the same angular speed. And since uh, v equals to r omega, and a and b have different r, so they have different linear speed. For these two, they have the same linear speed, because uh, when the belt goes one meter here, it also goes one meter there. So they travel the same distance and the same linear speed. And for this one, when this one moves one tooth, that one also moves by one tooth. And all the teeth have the same size. So they travel the same distance, which means the same linear speed. And since omega is v over r, they have the same speed but different r. The a and b, they have different r, so they have different omega. How about these two? If the strings do not slip, do these points in each scenario have the same linear speed or the same angular speed? They have the same linear speed because when this box goes down by one meter, the string goes around one meter, making the point on the rim where the string goes around move by one meter as well. 